we've all been in this situation before, right? Where there's an animal crossing the road and people are trying to stop and help it out. But who is this turtle and why did this truck driver change his mind when it came to picking up this turtle? Let's meet the snapping turtle, Caledra serpentina. Its habitat is spread widely through the central east part of Canada and the US. This situation where you have to deal with a snapping turtle, it's almost always a very big challenge. This reptile's behavior is dangerous and it's very aggressive. If you're fishing on live bait and you accidentally catch this monster, it's better to be very patient and careful. Otherwise, you can really, really hurt yourself. When the turtle catches a live fish, it will not let go. This is how it hunts in general. It's their technique. They are aggressive predators, kind of like crocodiles or snake. And when they attack a bird or a rodent, they drag them into the water, they drown them, and then they eat them later. This turtle on the hook is actually not hooked, but what's happening is it's caught the bait and it will not let go. Snapping turtles are omnivores and they eat practically everything. This is what explains their evolutionary stability. That big turtle is actually a very, very strong fighter and it is almost impossible to take it out of the water. The snapping turtle has a very strong and sharp set of jaws. The strength of the bite is almost equal to the strength of a human bite, despite the difference in its size. Turtles have very sharp and long claws and they can very well injure the person who's handling them if they don't know how to do it properly. If you accidentally do become a victim to a turtle bite, just know that the turtle will not let go until it feels safe. The only way to make the turtle let go of and feel safe is to submerge the part, your body, with the turtle head attached into the water. Now it's very clear as to why this gentleman started kicking the turtle off of the road. The only thing this guy did right was that he took the turtle in the direction that it was heading. Because if you pick up the turtle or you take the turtle back into the direction it was coming from, it's going to end up on the road once again. This is of course not the best way to handle a turtle because you can hurt it. Using a stick also isn't a good idea since it's very strong jaws will just crush it. Look at what it can do to your hand. It can also cr easily crush any bones. You can often catch a turtle on the road crossing since they lay their eggs on the gravel shoulder right off the road. Aggressive turtle behavior can scare people and this is what makes them make some mistakes while handling these turtles. There is a way to handle a turtle properly. It can attack you and it can strike you as fast as lightning. Its head is 25 centimeters long and it can strike in almost every which way. There is a safe spot that you can handle it though. The spot is right above the back paws. If you hold it closer to the tail, it can still scratch you. Also, do not ever pick up the turtle by the tail. The weight of itself can cause a spine injury or potentially kill it. So anybody can move a turtle safely. Although a turtle can also walk pretty fast since the bottom part of the shell or the plastron is shorter than any other turtle. This allows them to walk pretty fast. They lay 25 to 80 eggs annually but normally only one baby turtle will reach adulthood through the entire life since it has very low reproductive successes. The snapping turtle is, isn't is too adorable, but it is still a very important part of the ecosystem. While its conservation status is of least concern, we do need to do our part in preserving its species. Thank you so much for watching. Leave any comments, questions you have below, and don't forget to subscribe.